What you guys got a good one for you today. We're going to show you how to use the TS editor to get your money and your XP and to buy garages, unlock cities, all that sort of thing. And it's all coming up right now. So let's dive over to the computer. So you want to click the link in the description and that will bring you to this. I'm just going to consent. This is over to Mediafire. And as you can see, this is called the ATS TSSE tool. It, what this will do will help you buy garages and visit cities, etc., and change your money and all your XPs and everything. It's a brilliant tool. Anyway, guys, this does work for ETS as well, as I will show you. So you just click download and it will download up there. And then we can click out of this. Okay, so once that's downloaded, we're going to come across to File Explorer, and open that up. We're going to come across to Downloads, and here we can see is our tool. Now you want to extract this by right-clicking it and extract it to its own folder. I've already done that, and then I'm just going to right-click, cut, and then I'm going to paste them onto the desktop. There we go, so we can move that one out of the way. And if we open this one up now, go inside the tool, this is what it looks like inside. So you should have this, okay? You don't need this for the moment. So what I would do now, guys, is you want to go in and you want to go and open up your game. In my case, it's going to be ETS2. So you come into your game and we're going to use your profile, whatever profile it is you're going to be doing this on. Once we've once we come in, we're just going to come in and quickly make a save. We're going to save the current game progress. Now I'm going to save mine as Steve1. Then all we need to do then is just alt tab out of the game. So what I would do at this point guys is I would come down, go to your file explorer, open it up, go to documents, go to your Euro truck or your ATS, go to profiles and check which one's got today's date, which is this one here. So I know that it's not either of those two or when the numbers come up in the actual TS tool. Okay, so we can click out of that. And what we're going to do, we're going to open this up. And what we're looking for is this TS SE tool application. And just double click on that. And that will bring us up to this now. So you always want to be checking for your updates. So what we're going to do, we're going to come across here and we're going to grab the latest version, which we're not going to grab that one because it says it's been hijacked. And we're going to head over to GitHub. And it said this was released uh, six days ago and it's validated for 141. Okay, so you want to make sure that you get that. And then what we're going to do, we're going to get this zip. That's downloaded now. We'll close out of this. Close down that application. We're going to go to downloads. And here's the latest one. So we're going to right click on it. We're going to extract that into its own thing. We'll take that one, move it onto the desktop. So I will put a link in the description to the actual site so that you can go and get that one straight away. Okay, so we're going to open that up now. We still all tabbed out of the game. There's the application. we we'll open that up. But we know we're on the latest one. Cannot check for updates. It looks like somebody's hijacked it or something. So that's us ready to go. So the first thing we're going to want to do is make sure we're on the right game, either ETS or ATS. And then we're going to come down and look at our profiles and make sure that we're on the right one, which is the test profile there. And if you can see, it's got L there for local. It will have S if there's any Steam Cloud ones and you don't want the Steam Cloud ones. Test profile, if I go like that, you'll see my other two profiles there, but we're doing it on this one. There's our save Steve one. And then we're just going to go load. Once that's loaded, it should come up with what I've got saved on that actual program. As you can see, look, newbie, companies, you can see, look, there's no, none of the cities, none of the garages except for Mets, there it is. So there you can see is my garage that I do own. There's my money, etc. And there's my truck that I own at the moment. There's my number plate fuel level etc like that so we'll go back to 
here first off okay so we're on newbie as you can see here so the first thing we're going to do is i'm going to come up here and i'm going to click max and then straight away we're now on divine champion and if you click in all your different categories you'll get your xp sorted and that's that one done and then we come if we come across to company here is your cities and what we can do is we can just click visit and that's all of them visited now yeah so if, you, if you're a purist and you want to play the game but you only want to go to just one because you're meeting someone for the truckers mp or for a convoy you come in here and do that and the same for the garages now we can buy them all or we can upgrade them if you look at my mets one there yeah if we press upgrade it's now small and if we press it again it's now large now all of these we can press buy and then they're all gonna bought them all as small garages now we press upgrade and now they're all large garages but you can see my money hasn't changed whatsoever yeah, you can also sell your garages here downgrade them i think you can even go in and manage them here all our money just to show you i'm going to change it now according to the video that i watched on this the most you can put in is three billion well, we're going to do that just to show you that the money changes so three zero 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 that's 300 million there you go three billion and that's should be that and you could come in and if if you needed to you can service your truck or fill it up for free and there's also all of these down here now i haven't gone into it in depth yet for copying your paint settings and, and stuff like that we will do that at a later video i'm going to be checking that out for sure trailers we could actually do the same we could come in and repair any damage for free freight market you can actually i think you can pick jobs this is something we'll look into but there's better i think apparently better versions for this with the uh, trucky app cargo market the same and i'm not sure what convoy control is current position that's a work in progress but that's to do with obviously the new convoy thing for 141 so now that you've made all your changes to your company your profile etc we're going to click save i'll save it will tell you that then we can pick out of this and then we can open up the game again okay now this is the important bit as you can see my money is exactly the same still as it was if i went to the map still showing uh, nothing basically apart from my one garage in mets what you need to do is to click out this is why i just wanted to show you that it's because you need to come in here and you need to load that save game that you've just changed yeah which was steve one in our case we're gonna load that not really sure what that noise was but we will wait and see and now if we look money's changed to three billion our garage count now is 202 so if we now go to the world map there you can see all the cities And we've got the garages in each one so if we come out of the map go to garage manager garage manager now looks like this and we can head off over to let's go over to here we'll click travel just to show you that we've actually got a garage i'm just sitting and here we are, you can see on the map, we're in Almira. We're going to have a quick look to see if this is the one with the petrol garage or whether we can still have to upgrade map manually. Pretty sure it's the one with the petrol garage, there we go we're full up so we don't actually need any so we have all our garages and we're going to be going into that in much more detail in some videos to come 
That guy's for me is just the easiest, easiest way for, without a shadow of a doubt, to basically get you as much money as you want and your XP and stuff. And um, I'm sure in the future videos that we look into, there's going to be some amazing things you can do with this tool. It does work with pro mods, I know that, because uh, I've watched a video of someone doing it and with other map mods. And uh, I'm I just, yeah, I'm blown away by how, how good that actually is. So brilliant. Thank you to the developer of that tool. I know it's been around a while, but I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of us out there that don't know that actually exists and we don't want to use, I don't want to use the word because it will demonetize my video, but there's a certain program called something engine that rhymes with pleat. Um, that is full of bugs and, and different things and, and problems, etc. There's also the going in and doing it with SII decrypt, which I've made videos on, but some people have had success. I had success that way, but a lot of you were writing in the comments that you were having trouble and stuff. So this is a much better way. Hopefully none of you will have issues. If you do, drop us a line in the comments and I'll see if I can help you out. And uh, once again, guys, thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you in another one. Bye for now.